that building in particular has a, a sloped roof uh, at its highest point. Um, and so, you know, there's a safety factor that would be con considered there that we wouldn't want to put somebody up on a sloped roof. Uh, and so, you know, the decision was made to secure the building uh, from inside. All right, guys, I'm up here on the building where the uh, supposed sniper took a shot. It's not that steep at all. We just had a 70 year old man back here climb up on the, uh, on the roof easily. See that water tower behind me? Had Secret Service or anybody had sniper teams up there, this guy wouldn't have made it. Um, five feet up this roof, um, he would have been taken out. Behind me, you see the windows that uh, Secret Service was supposedly in the second floor of this building behind. It makes you wonder why they uh, weren't able to quickly dispatch the individual. Um, and then behind me, back over here where those red roofs are, that's where the stage was set up. That's where the president was giving his speech from. A lot of questions here in Butler, um, but we look forward to doing oversight and uh, getting to the bottom of it and making sure it never happens again. When will that be, Ms. Cheadle? Because you should have brought it today. I am certain that our personnel are working on uh, obtaining all of that document. I don't believe you, and neither do the people watching this hearing. You're not doing well, as Mr. Mos Moskowitz informed you. You've been sitting here for over three hours, and I have you know the entire country is demanding you resign and demanding that you be fired if you do not resign. Things are not going well for you. You need to answer the questions then let's just take it this way. People under your command did not consider him to be a threat, yet people in the crowd knew he had a gun and considered him to be a threat. That means that you are a complete failure as the director of the Secret Service, that people under your command don't perceive a man laying on a roof with direct line to the president with a gun. They don't perceive that to be a threat, yet the people in the crowd do. How is that possible? That's the last question, but please answer the question, Ms. Uh, Director. I'm not certain at this time how the information from the people in the crowd was relayed to any law enforcement personnel. No, you knew that everyone knew. The people there knew that there was a danger. They knew there was a threat to President Trump, and it was allowed to happen. Was there a stand-down order, Ms. Cheadle? Was there a conspiracy to kill President Trump? Absolutely not. Then how did this happen? And why are you still sitting here, not turning in your letter of resignation? I would be remiss if I did not also extend my condolences on the passing of your colleague, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. Ms. Jackson Lee was always engaged in the oversight of the Secret Service, and her passing is a great loss to this body. I admit to you, if you can't, and it's not a can't, it's a won't, it's not a can't, it's not a I don't know. It's a I choose not to answer the question. Well, let me tell you, Ms. Cheadle, if you're going to lead, you need to lead. If you want to be in charge, then answer the question or step aside and have someone with the courage and the guts to answer to the American people the questions that they deserve answers to. And with that, I yield back. What is immediately clear 
is that there are a number of structures that need to be secured. Of these, Director, other than the first, you know, immediate four, what's the most dangerous site that should have been secured? Because you know, Security 101, you got to mitigate the high ground. Yes. Okay. Do you know what the next most dangerous site, what was the closest structure to the President, other than the four immediate ones that you had your counter sniper teams on? There are a number of structures around that event site. Yeah, you know who the shooter knew? The shooter has visited the site two more times than you have, and he had a drone, and he picked the AGR building. So you said, do you remember in an ABC interview you did that you didn't have people on the roof of the AGR building because you were worried about safety because of the slope? I recall that statement. Okay. Does the Secret Service have written policy you can share with us about slope roofs? No. So why'd you act like there was one? Because is it your practice to comment on enormous uh, events of nor enormous national implications when you're ignorant of the facts? That's rhetorical. So here's this thing with the slopes. You go all up to like 1812, you can go to a 112, which is about as flat as you can get without it being completely flat. And you're saying that there was a danger, uh, safety concern there. But the problem is, Director, you put your counter snipers on a 312 roof, which is steeper than the 112. And by the way, the 112 is ADA compliant. You can build a, a ramp for a wheelchair on a 112 roof. So these are nothing but pathetic excuses and they make no sense and they're a bunch of cow dung. All the law enforcement I've spoken with over the last nine days are amazed that the AGR rooftop was not secure. And you wanna know why? Because it's dangerous. I have never had any long gun training in my life. I own an AR-15 and I, last time I shot it, I shot it one time my whole life, it was six years ago. That is until Saturday, where we recreated the events in Savoy, Texas, where you recreated what happened in Butler. I was lying prone on a slope roof at 130 yards at 6.30 at night. And I knew that he had a scope, I didn't know what kind, red dot or magnified. So I shot eight rounds from both. You know what the result was? 15 out of 16 kill shots. And the one I missed would have hit the president's ear. That's a 94% success rate. And that shooter was a better shot than me. It is a miracle President Trump wasn't killed. Corey Compatore's life is over because that damn shooter made it on the roof. And it wasn't the roof that was dangerous, it was a nut job on top of the roof. You know what else is dangerous? I believe your horrifying ineptitude and your lack of skilled leadership is a disgrace. Your obfuscating today is shameful. And you should be fired immediately and go back to Garden Doritos. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Um, Chairman, in my opinion, according to some of the testimony today, I feel that you have perjured yourself in some instances. And so I'm going to ask for a full review of the transcripts by staff. And if you find that to be the case, I do ask that you bring perjury charges against the director. Um, I will say this, it is very frustrating. And I've talked to my colleagues and we've said it to your face that you have been up here basically stonewalling our ability to get the answers to the American people. And what I will also say is that every single member of Congress does not feel safe with you in charge. You have heard that. And I think that we are all sitting ducks with you and directing the Secret Service currently. Some of my colleagues have texted me over the last couple days, bipartisan, about whether you should lose your job. And I've been quiet on that question because I wanted to see where, what you were going to do today. Um, in my opinion, you do need to be fired immediately. And it is because this is gross incompetence. And the fact that it's been nine days, and these are simple questions to, to answer. I'm quite sure if I asked any one of my kids if they got in trouble and I told them to give me the details, I would get more answers from them than I'm getting from you right now. And that's what's frustrating on a bipartisan basis, on a nonpartisan basis. This is a joke. And Director, you're in charge. And that's why you need to go. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Ms. Cheadle, you said that the buck stops with me, and I agree. I don't think you should resign. I think you should have been fired. Ma'am, you are a DEI horror story. Please visit my website at samstwitch.com. My Twitter profile is at Sam's Twitch underscore Sam. My YouTube channel is at youtube.com backslash Sam's Twitch. I post videos that I cannot post on YouTube on my BitChute channel at bitshoot.com backslash Sam's Twitch.